are basically brushing through that wet hair, you can obviously really break the hair while it's in a vulnerable state. <laughs> Hey boo, welcome to Hair Scripts. It is your host, Bebby. And today you are on this video because you wanna know the top 10 things that you are doing that is damaging your hair's texture. So now, if you know anything about the Hair Scripts channel, we are the beauty central for all things hair, skin, wellness, you know, vaginal health, women's health, girl, you talk about it, you name it, we talking about it over here, okay? We even talking about lightening your booty if that's what you wanna do. But one of the main things, the core of who we are is all about hair loss and hair growth, how to regrow your hair after losing your hair from different causes of hair loss, okay? And so we are more about scalp health and hair health versus, you know, we don't really do a whole lot about texture and, and making it look pretty, but we really care about the hair that's growing out your follicle, your scalp, girl. That's, that's what's more important to us here. But we do talk about, you know, length retention and different things that you can do to make sure that you have thriving hair on your head. And so with that being said, I wanna talk about the top 10 things, but we're gonna break this down into two parts. And in this video, part one, I'm just gonna talk about five things right now, but this is top 10 things, and we'll continue in video number two, that you're doing that is damaging your hair, okay? The actual hair that is on your head now, you're breaking it, you're destroying it. Girl, let's let's just get into it. Let's just get into it, because you're prob probably doing it while you're watching me right now. Now, so let's just jump right in. Number one, you're using too much heat. And I know you're looking at me like, girl, your hair is straightened right now. Like, really? Really? I like to switch it up. I'm sorry. I do. I love my hair straight. I can bounce back and forth between curly and straight, right? But I know that I'm doing it at my own risk. Meaning, I don't do it all the time. I'm not going to be straightening my hair every week. I'm not going to do it every day. No. Usually if I'm straightening my hair, it's once a month, once every other month. Maybe, 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 maybe once a month. I'll say once a month, but I like to switch it up and there's nothing wrong with that. Just like some people like to put braids in their hair, extensions in their hair. They like to do the lace fronts and I'm not against it, girl, cause I'm with you. When I want a certain look and I want to jazz it up and I'm going to an event and I want to spice it up and you know, my hair is just not enough, girl, let's, let's do it. Let's add some body, you know what I'm saying? But again, I'm, I'm in moderation kind of chick, okay? So I understand that anything that I do, I gotta do in moderation. And then another thing is, if I'm adding extensions and this and that and blah, 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 girl, I'm not keeping that in for three months. I'm not keep. I'm not even, me personally, I'm not even keeping it in for a month. A week or two might be a little bit too long for me. For me, I'll do the extensions if I'm going to on vacation and I want to look bad, I want to look good for my pictures and I want this and I want that and I want to be jazzy and sassy. But girl, when I come off that yacht and I'm back home in real life, I'm taking these things out, okay? I don't have anything in my hair now. This is obviously my natural hair. And we're still working. It's a, grow, it's a, it's a hair journey, hair growth journey. But anyway, using too much heat, because <laughs> I do this a lot. I, Girl, I can start talking and we like yapping, yapping, and you're like, uh, what about using too much heat? We already know. This is the obvious, using too much heat. You know, listen, heat can be used in moderation. It's okay, you all right? We live once, you can, listen, we all love a good silk press. For me, I love a good blowout and a doobie, okay? So, girl, just don't damage your hair, don't over fry it. You know when you, listen to your hair, your hair whispers before it screams, okay? And if you feel that your hair is starting to feel a little limp, a little uh, like, you know, like this, like broken wrist, like uh, time to give it a protein treatment, try to give it a, re a rebond treatment. I like Olaplex, there's other ones out there, but I really like Olaplex, or I create my own DIYs, I create a black rice treatment, and I also create a, a egg and, and other stuff tra DIY treatment. Check out the videos, I have both of the black rice water rinse and I also have the other treatment down below and these are really really good if your hair is kind of like in need of a little bit of TLC it feels a little weak I usually every time I go from straight back to curly I always do a protein treatment 
hands down all the time. Whether I'm doing my own or Olaplex, I'm always gonna do a protein treatment. Hey baddies, so it's your girl Bevy and listen, if you don't know, I had to interrupt what you were watching because I have to tell you, there's a lot of y'all that are new to this channel and I have to put you on to game. If your hair is thinning, if you have thinner hair, if your hair is shedding, falling, breaking, you cannot figure out what's going on. Wash day sucks, your ponytails are getting thicker, thinner, excuse me, and your parts are widening. Listen, you need to go, not, no, you need to run, not walk to the description box and get your hands on the Hurst Grips Medicated Hair Growth Serums. My baddies have tried it and they spoke and they love it okay you cannot find this anywhere else you can't get it at target you can't get it at wally's world you cannot get it at ulta sephora houston Lana vegas you cannot get it anywhere okay you can only get it at herscriptsrx.com in the description box why because i have 10 plus years of experience in the healthcare and pharmaceutical industries i understand drug formulations i understand ingredients that are clinically proving to be effective to work to do the things that needs to be done your girl was diagnosed with androgenetic alopecia aka female pattern hair loss and I struggled with thinning and my hair is like I should have had it out but listen it's thriving so if you want thriving hair if you tried everything you tired of wasting your money that's it that's it that's it <laughs> I am your angel <laughs> I am your fairy hairy godmother go down to the description box girl and and boys and gals and everybody go down to the description box and get your hands on the Hurst Grips Medicated Hair Growth Serum. Don't let me say it again. So just, and when you do use heat, opt for a heat protectant, okay? Moving on, brushing your hair when it's wet. This is the least obvious, and I know, listen, some of y'all like, girl, this is stupid, I know this. No, everybody don't know it, and common sense ain't that common. I was guilty of this. Like, brushing, you feel like, okay, you can use that brush that says that it's supposed, like, it's supposed to be used for wet hair. Girl, no, okay? When your hair is wet, it's delicate. It's prone to breakage, okay? So you are basically brushing through that wet hair. You can obviously really break the hair while it's in a vulnerable state. Now, while I also don't recommend brushing dry, brittle hair because then you're breaking it as well, my recommendation, honestly, is that you hydrate your hair, you pre-poo, you finger detangle, you do as much as you can with a wide tooth comb, you pre-poo is going to solve this problem. Please, pre-poo. By the time you're using a brush, you're literally only using a brush to, if you are that type of styler, when you're styling your hair, you're using a damask brush so that you can get the best curl that you want to kind of intensify your curl. That's the only time, and by that time, your hair is already detangled and it's moisturized to the gods, okay? That's the only time, if you have natural hair, that you should run a brush through your hair. Don't do it. Don't do it while it's wet or dry. Towel drying your hair, okay? I know you guys think that this is more of a cosmetic thing, and I did too, honestly. I thought, okay, I don't towel dry my hair. I use a t-shirt because I don't like the frizz and the static that I get from towel drying. Well, it's a little bit more deeper than that. So towel drying your hair can cause weakened strands to fray and snap. So if your hair is already weak and you throw a towel on it, it's gonna more than likely snap. And you know what I'm talking about. In fact, you're probably doing it right now. So I would always, always, always just use a cotton t-shirt and just scrunch it up, okay? Don't, you just wanna take it to the tips and start juicing that thing out, okay? And, and that's it, because I'm telling you right now, using a towel can just really cause a lot of friction to very, very, very either damaged hair or fine hair, which I have fine hair. So forgetting your bonnet, your silk scarf, and all that other stuff. Now, we can go back and forth. There are experts who feel like this is not even an issue. And I, while I do agree that it really has not anything to do with hair growth and hair loss, it has everything to do with the moisture in your hair and just maintaining your retention and everything to do with the actual look and feel of your hair. So please do not, do not, do not forget your bonnet. Girl, we don't need to go into that deep with that. Next is too much or too little shampooing. Okay, hear me out. Too much shampooing is, girl, once a week is good, especially if you're a melanated or black natural, right? If you're doing it too excessively because you wanna re-moisturize your hair, so instead of you trying to moisturize your hair in between washes, what you're doing is washing it every time, or co-washing, which is the devil, 
girl, don't do it. Don't do it to yourself. It's too much. You're stripping your hair of the natural oils, blah, 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 blah. And too much water is no good. You are expanding your hair to, uh, to infinity and beyond, and you don't want to do that. Your hair is going to drown. Just give it a, a minute. You want to use aloe vera, which is 75% or more of water, and it also has the nutrients and antimicrobial and antibacterial properties that is going to feed the right nutrients to your hair and nourish your strands, okay? So that's just it. With just too much shampooing, too little shampooing is more of a scalp issue. And girl, if you mess with sister scalp, she will come for you. So don't come for her lest she send for you, okay? In other words, you start messing with the pH balance on your scalp, the bacteria on your scalp, the yeast on your scalp, you can get dry flakes, you can get sebderm, which is a yeast infection on your scalp. All of this, you can get inflammation, you can breed bacteria, and all of this equates to hair loss in many different ways. I'm trying to expedite, but in so many different ways, you don't want to under shampoo meaning you're shampooing once in a green moon girl get the bacteria off your scalp your scalp is the third most sensitive area of your skin treat it like your face and if you're not gonna go a whole month without washing your face don't do your scalp like that moving on at the end of the day those were the five I just want you to know, listen, tune in for part two of this video so you can get the full 10. These are all things we're all guilty of. I was definitely guilty of this and this destroyed my actual hair and the texture of my hair. So while I'm working on regrowing hair from hair loss, which is a totally different problem. And if you subscribe to this channel, you're gonna know all about hair loss, all about hair growth. You just cannot not know about hair loss. But on top of that, you don't want damaged hair too. Girl, live your best hair life with the hair that you at least still have on your head. Anyway, stay tuned for the next video and I'm out, honey.